range, which uses the up down motion of the tide, like in South Korea, a bit like a hydroelectric dam. And then there's tidal stream, which uses the left to right flow of the current, like in Northern Ireland, the windmill under the sea. These two words, stream and range, are going to be things you hear a lot in this show. So one more reminder, tidal range is the up down of the tide, tidal stream uses tidal current, so left right. Let's get back to the lead in South Korea that uses a dam to capture the up down of tidal range. This tidal power station, I read it's the largest tidal facility in the world. Is that right? Yes, it's correct. Because this is one of the places uh, in the world with the highest uh, tide difference. Up to nine meters in very windy weather. So it, it makes sense to have such a big power plant here. The annual production is 552 gigawatt hour of electric energy. And if you need to compare it to something, then the Hua Lake Paddle Power Plant can supply a city with a population of half a million people. And presumably there are some pretty good climate savings as well if we're not burning fossil fuels to create that energy. Yes, definitely. According to uh, the Korean government, the Hua Lake Paddle Power Plant has been a saving of 350 tons of CO2 each year. And that's about the same amount produced about 100,000 cars annually, I've read. So substantial it is. Driving our cars, heating, cleaning our homes, cooking our food, all of these typically involve burning fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas. They release invisible gases into the sky that act like a seagull blanket trapping the sun's heat and causing Earth to heat up. The warmer world leads more extreme weather, like droughts, heat waves, cyclones, floods, more disease and sea level rise. And so the world has agreed to try and limit global warming. And one of the key ways they're going to do that is building more and more renewable energy. Renewable energy is like tidal, but also wind and solar. They all harness nature's energy and don't banish the climate like fossil fuels do. They don't release kind of warming gases. But tidal energy has an edge over other renewables like wind and solar. They're predictable. Yes, the tides can be predicted years in advance. Wind and sunshine, no, not so much. And that predictability is really important, says Roman Greer, CEO of the trade body Ocean Energy Europe.